Hey guys, I'm Megan. I'm Wendy. And we have some things to share. Alright, I'm gonna jump right in, and mine is kind of gross, I apologize, but this is the Eco Tools Beauty Sponge. I have a, it might have a name. So raising the roof because I bought it for her. She did! <laughs> and um, in our One True Love video, which I'm gonna link down below, last month we talked about our favorite beauty tools, and I shared the Beauty Blender, and I love the Beauty Blender, but I have to share this because this is $10, not $20, and it comes with this guy and then a smaller version. Um, which I also like, although sometimes I just like default to using this yes, one because I'm lazy. Um, but it's basically the same thing in a smaller version, which is nice for concealer and getting in around certain edges. But I love the shape of this, like getting in around your nose. You wouldn't think it's that big of a deal, but it makes a difference. And I like this blunt side up right up, up, up to the eye here. Yes, and it has like a nice surface area. It blends out really quickly. Mine's dirty because I've been using it every day. Um, I would say it has the same consistency texture as the Beauty Blender. It's uh, light, like some, yeah, some it are puffs real dense. Yeah, you know what I mean. This is not. It puffs way up, mm -hmm. like it, like the Beauty Blender. And I just think this is a great alternative for half the price, and it works just as well. And I might might like it better. I'm not saying I'm never gonna buy a Beauty Blender again, but I like that I can get this at Target. I get it at Ulta. Mm -hmm. I don't think they sell it at Sephora, but you can get it a lot of places they have on Amazon. You know where you can't get it at? Hold on. Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, she did it! I had to get it! I'm really going to think about it. I'm really going to think about it. They have it there, too. Can you use your 20% off? Yes! Oh, yes. yeah. I like this. This is a good alternative. All right. Here are these. is a shock. Whoops. These are the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Oil. They're fairly new. I bought them at, whoops, Walgreens. I have the shades um, Showering Sunset and Caramel Cloud. Now, Burt's Bees hasn't always been a favorite of mine. Like, I want to love their products, but I don't. It doesn't always take me there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. These, I really like a lot. It's a lip oil, which it just doesn't give you, like, a ton of, like, color. But, you know, like, in the morning when you're just, like, chant, you know, jamming outside the door or whatever? Jamming outside the door? <laughs> jamming <laughs> out the door? No, it's just a nice, sheer, really kind of, yeah, and you can't even see it. Hydrating. They feel good. They feel good on. They have a little bit of a weird taste, oh. which I don't love, but it's Burt's Bees, and I'm like, eh, how bad can it be if you're ingesting it? So, wait, you're ingesting whatever lipstick you wear anyway. I know, but I really love these. Um, I think this one's my favorite color, though, the shower, Showering Sunset. I can't say it. Number 612. Anyway, these... You know, I know the trend is for like stay all day lipstick, but lip oils, have you seen? They've been making a big splash onto the market. Yes, and you know, someone was like, I think lip gloss is making a comeback. And I was like, I'm so out of lip gloss. I mean, I never stopped wearing lip gloss. Mm, I've either. always Ever. preferred gloss always. to matte. You know, maybe I'm just old and I'm not cool anymore, <laughs> but I just like the look of a gloss and it's okay with me that it doesn't last all day. Me too. It's, it's not that much skin off my back to be like, Psh, what about like about these oils? It's not like tacky like glosses. Yes. Because some glosses can be real tacky, but <sighs> yay! All right, my next is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. These are all like my my faves from months ago. I feel like <laughs> no, like, I didn't know you started cushion foundation. Well, I'm impressed. Have you used this one? Yes. I thought you shared like the Maybelline. No, nope, that's my jam. That one right there. So I really like this. Now, the thing with these cushion foundations is they're kind of expensive for a drugstore foundation. Like, I think this one's $13, $14, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as opposed to like a $6 or $7 drugstore foundation. But um, I bought the color W3, which is nude beige, which is the second lightest color, and might be a little bit dark. It's, it's really hard sometimes to figure out because sometimes the lightest shades are mm -hmm. really alabaster and sometimes they're perfect. So um, it might be a little dark, but I think it's okay for summer, especially because you can really blend this out really well. Um, I like this because it has a decent amount of coverage while still kind of looking like natural. Mm -hmm. It still looks like your skin, doesn't look like heavy makeup, but covers up the redness. Um, 
How do you apply cushion foundation? Um, sometimes with the beauty blender and sometimes with our new oval brush. Yeah, I use the oval brush. Do you just dip your beauty blender? See, that's what I was trying. I was like, how exactly? And I did, out of curiosity, try a little section with um, this it. guy. I, it, I hated it. But I was like, let me see. Look how much product it took. Yeah, yeah. I was not a fan, but I was like, oh, maybe it'll... No, it's not good. But I have, I tried it by like dipping my finger in and dotting it on my face and then blending with the beauty blender. I felt like that maybe blended a little too much product away, but I did like it with our oval face brush. I'm not a huge fan of dipping my fingers into foundation. I would rather, <laughs> I know it doesn't make any sense to dip a dirty foundation brush. Well, that's in. what I'm saying. Like my foundation brush is just as dirty yeah. and it's been all over my, I mean, rarely is my foundation brush like sparkling clean to use. Yeah. Let's Once a month, maybe. This is a Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, limited edition, the sweetest bling. Now, oh, you can't really see it. Let me open it. This was a part of their, like, it was like an Alice in Wonderland kind of run of oh. products. I found it at one Walgreens, never saw it, no, CVS, never saw it anywhere else. Yeah. Um, it's real shimmery. I don't have it on today, but there was a video a couple weeks ago that we did, and we were in Megan's kitchen, and I was like, woo, look at that highlighter. <laughs> like, I loved it so much. I actually really like this. It came in this one and in like a purpley color, which I don't know who that's for. I bought it. It's not for me. <laughs> but um, this is just really nice. It doesn't have like, it doesn't have like a ton of like, I guess fallout. Do you call fallout? It's not powdery. It's it not. just is, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like cool rose. I like it. I really like it. And for the price. So if you see it, get it. But because it's not going to be around long. Go ahead. Hey, so my next thing, can you see what this is? Is that a ponytail holder? It is. <gasps> So this one is called the Invisibobble, although there's tons on the market. And it looks like those stretchy key rings that yes, like all the does. teachers you now use. But <laughs> um, I love this. I love this so much. Now I cannot guarantee it that it won't, yes. I cannot guarantee that at some point it won't stretch out, but I bought this in a three pack. It was $10 on Amazon. You see them everywhere. Um, so you just use it like a ponytail holder. And what I like, no, I'm scared that it's going to get tangled in there. No, and what I like is if I were to put all of my hair up in like a bun, this is what I like it for. Fun bun. It, um, if I put a ponytail holder around it, it would hurt my head. Like it's, it just hurts holding my hair up like that. It hurts this, pulling the hair. It pulls and my hair is heavy. Look at that. It doesn't pull. It doesn't hurt. It, be, it somehow like distributes the weight among the. I don't know. There's some crazy science behind it. Physics. Something about it makes it more comfortable. Look, I've got a lot of hair. People do it. Do it. It do doesn't it. go anywhere. <laughs> That's amazing. But you want to see how easily it comes out, just so I can prove. Yeah. No, yeah. look. I look. Comes right out. I wonder who was like had this on their bracelet. Totally. Day and was like, I'm gonna throw that in my hair. Oh my god, I don't have any product. Yeah, and they're they're tighter than those, like they retain their shape a little uh -huh. bit more. But I really like these, and for summer to just throw your hair up, and because they're not as tight around your head. Let me see. Um, because the coils. Out, I put this in my hair. No, it's not. It's plastic, so nothing can stick to it. I had a dream the other night. I had lice. Oh my god. Look at this is my little fun bun. This is what I was, oh my god, it looks like a waterfall. <laughs> looks like a shooting waterfall. I, this is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. I don't really like that name, Ugh. but it has hyaluronic acid and black oak, which apparently is a youth preserving I'll take mist. It. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Being a kind of pricey, this Pixie line at Target can get kind of pricey, um, like upwards of $20 for some things. I don't, I probably paid 16 or 17 for this. When my face is a feeling when my face is a feeling, when my face is feeling like especially dry, like after washing it or something, I just spray this on and then put my moisturizer on. I I like it. It's like a mist moisturizer. I'm in. You know? Old lady skin. Do you still use dry. a regular moisturizer on yes. your face? Yes. yes. I just am bad on any dry skin right now. I've got a little bit of like an 80s side pony thing happening. I like right it. Something. Go take 80s. It out. Oh, I just said it doesn't get tangled in it. Ah! But it came right out. It came right out. Um, yeah, but I like this. I don't know why I'm smelling it because I don't think it really has a smell to it. But let me know if you guys like the Pixie line and what you like from it because I'm, it's growing bigger and bigger at Target. So yes. 
I just want to know. I'm feeling cheap these days, and I don't want to spend twenty dollars on a yeah. product at Target. Does it ever go on sale? Right. I didn't notice it on sale. No. No. All right. This next thing is from the brand Rodeo, and they sent us a few things. And this is their baking powder, which is just a loose setting powder, but you know baking is all the rage. Mm -hmm. And then their baking brush. Now, this powder is great. I like it. It's very loose. It dusts away beautifully. It does not cake under my eyes, which is basically pouring a miracle these days because I feel like everything settles under my mm -hmm. eyes. Even like all the non-creasy concealers, everything's like yep. whoosh. Mine too. So, Close. So, um, I really like this. Um, it is a little more expensive than the setting powder I traditionally use. So what I find myself is I just use this to set under my eyes and anywhere else I want to set. And then I use a powder I'll show you in a minute to kind of like set the rest of my makeup because I'm cheap. But it's a high low face. This, <laughs> yes, totally. That's my entire life. <laughs> So, this baking brush, though, you need to feel that, first of all. I mean, how's it how's different? Oh, it's very soft. It's so soft, and, but I like that they're marketing it as a baking brush. It's any other brush. Totally. It's a, it's a powder brush. It's, there's something about the way these bristles are packed or the type of bristles mm -hmm. because it's genuinely better than other brushes I own. I use this to place the powder, and what I use to use mm -hmm. is my damn beauty sponge and like press it in. The problem with that is that uses a lot of product. Yeah, and with this little guy, I'm not willing to go that route. Yeah. This uses much less product and the size of it and the dentist, like it, it presses it in beautifully. And when it dusts it away, you can see it kind of like float up off your skin. And it does that with other powders too. I've noticed I tried mm -hmm. using this with a different loose powder and it just like dusts it away beautifully. And I don't know how just a brush makes a difference, but it does. Let me see this for a second. And it feels good on your skin. I like the size of it. Me I too. Think. I right didn't think there. I would like it for placing powder because it yeah. seems small, mm -hmm. but for, you know. Like I you would be packing it on, right? Like, well, yeah, and like you would need to do a lot yeah. of it. Uh -huh. But where I set is under my eyes, around my nose, in my chin area, and it's the right size for those things. And it's genuinely good. I'm um, talking about... Ooh, powders, setting powders. This is the It Cosmetics Ba Ba Pores. Ooh. Of course I bought it on QVC because it's the best price. But um, the reason I bought it, it's just a translucent setting powder. The reason I bought it is because they were like doing a demo on the model yes. and she like put it all up in the eyes and was talking about baking. And she's like, you can totally bake with this right up on your eyes there. And I'm like, Boom. because it so has like... I don't know, minerals and whatever in it that doesn't settle. I think it settles. Doesn't everything settle? We made up a certain name. But I wanted to see settles. like that one there, not versus, I just wanted to see like the texture of it because this is really fine. Yeah, that's really, this really fine too. too. Yeah. Um, I use it also like a drugstore. What is that one you use? I bought it for you in a big Cody Air Spun. Yeah, which works great, but it's not like finely milled like not this. Like these. Not like no. But um, I really like this, and you get a pretty good amount. Yeah. Uh, this is the uh, video about all of the powders. So this <laughs> is the CoverGirl Outlast. I have the color Fair to Light, which is the lightest. Um, this is a matte finishing powder, and you know this is so funny. It takes me like straight back to my middle school days. Like the packaging it's on terrible. this has not changed since I was 12 years old, and the only makeup I wore was powder. Like that was yeah. the thing you just dusted powder over your face. Is that your remainder of wearing makeup? Oh, me too. Um, the packaging blows my mind how bad it is. Like it's just <laughs> this like red sticker and literally. Red. Sticker. This is the identical. There is like this tiny little mirror. I don't know what's happening here. I think maybe the mirror is an addition, but like the there's a mirror. Oh, but like the sticker doesn't even like it's not even centered. It is so weird to me, and it was such a turnoff. But I saw someone talking about it and they loved it, and I like it too. Okay, speaking of drugstore, I bought this way back when we did um, our huge drugstore haul. Kind of played with it, put it away. Kind of played with it some more. My it is the L'Oreal infallible total coverage no total cover <laughs> it's basically like 
Um, sorry. Whoa. Color correcting. It's a cream color corrector. Um, this is for like dark circles. This is, I don't know what the yellow is for. Discoloration, green, money. Okay. You know, I really only use this one here. For dark circles. circles. Yeah. And do I you actually, use the green for any redness? Like um, the other day I did for some breakouts and I thought it was okay. My daughter and I, my daughter has this little like broken blood, blood vessel right here under her eye, like forever and ever. And she was like jerking around with my makeup. And she's like, can we make this go away? So I use, I just wanted to see if it worked. Totally covered it up. Oh, funny. I couldn't believe it. The only thing is like when I feel like I use green color corrector, I feel like an alphabet. Well, like when I put it, you know what I mean? From looking. <laughs> I do know. <laughs> do you guys know who alphabet is? Anyway, like I have all this green on my face and then I try to cover it with foundation. It just feels like I'm wearing a ton of stuff on my face. I don't like it. But I do love this and I wish they sold it in just this. All right, you guys, those are our favorites for the month of April. We'd love to know what you guys are wanting. And um, we are going to leave links to all of these things down below. And there's always more information about these things on our blog at MeganandWendy.com. So you can find us over there. And we will see you in another video very soon. Bye. Bye.